hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome to sew with mediva and if you're a returning subscriber or viewer thank you for sticking to my channel so in today's video we're we'll learning how to make this simple ruched flare skirt so i achieved this style using only two yards of crepe fabric and this video is very detailed very beginners friendly and very easy to follow so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe and also share so like i said earlier i achieved this style using two yards of crepe fabric and the length of this fabric is 60 inches so the only measurement you need for this skirt is your round waist measurement divided by four and the full length of the skirt so let's go ahead now to fold up our fabric so right now my fabric is in a fold of two and the first thing you want to do is to take the closed angle and just form a triangle this way so fold the fabric this way to miss the other edge of the fabric forming a triangle so the wider part is going to be the lower part of your skirt so this is what we have so right now the fabric is in a fold of four already so the next thing to do is to divide your round with measurement by four so divide your round waist measurement by four and add your seam allowance so for me i have 10 inches so i'll go ahead and just locate 10 inches on this fold so i'll mark the points and then from my waist to my hip line is 9 inches and i have a band of 1.5 inches so i'm going to come down by 7.5 inches so this is just to confirm what i have on that point if it's going to go around my hip so my round hip divided by 4 is 11.5 inches and i have about 13 inches on that part so the skirt is going to fit perfect on my body so the next thing to do now is to just mark out that waistline so i'll just go ahead to highlight that point and then from the waist to the full length of my skirt is 42 inches remember we have a band of 1.5 inches at the upper part so i'm going to subtract that 1.5 inches from it making 40.5 inches so i'll add one inch for my folding allowance so i'm going to be marking 41.5 inches all the way at the lower part this way or you could just place your taper 1.5 inches above the waistline and take the full length of the skirt with your folding allowance so i'll go ahead to just connect the lines so i'll just connect the waistline this way and also connect the full length so let's go ahead to cut it out so let's start cutting from the waistline and then we'll go ahead to cut out the sides and then i'll cut out the full length of the skirt so after opening up this is what you should have so after we cut out we have only one side of the fabric open and this is going to be where we'll be attaching the zipper so the zipper is going to be at the side so the next thing to do is to determine where we want our slit to be and the ruched effect so i'm going to come over to the closed angle and just take my nipple to nipple measurements which is eight inches so i'll go ahead to just pack eight inches from the closed angle so after marking the 8 inches, I'm going to take my long ruler now and just try and um, form a straight line from that 8 inches all the way down. Remember it's a flare skirt so you have to just make your ruler straight so as to get your straight line. So you're going to determine where you want your slits to um, start from. So I'll place my taper 1.5 inches above the waistline and then I'll come down by 17 inches. So my slit is going to start from that 17, 17 inches all the way down. To the full length of the skirt so that 17 inches i marked i'm going to just form a straight line i'll draw a straight line so you can decide whatever slit length you want for yours this is just what i worked with so from the lower part of that straight line i'm going to take one inch on both sides just like i'm trying to form a dart and then i will slant it down to meet the full length of the slit so this is going to be the slit opening so i'll slant it out this way so i'll go ahead to cut out this um part i just marked now to form the slit i'm cutting it only on the front panel so let's go ahead now to cut out the slits so i'm going to cut the straight line first and then i'll just open it up on the sides so after cutting out this is what we have so this is only on the front panel so we're going to have the ruched effect just above the slits so back to the table now the first thing we want to do is to finish up the slit opening and i have this fabric i have cut out already it is two inches wide so on the right side of my um skirt i'm going to just place this fabric this way and then i'll stitch it using half an inch all the way around the slit opening 
i'll use it to turn it over so when i'm done stitching i'll show you guys how to turn it over to the wrong side so after stitching down the facing i'll just flip my fabric now to the wrong side and then i'll use my scissors to just um form small notches starting from the center point i'll notch it all the way around making sure it doesn't get to the seam before. so i'll show you guys the next thing to do so after notching the next thing is to turn it over using the hemming gum so i'm going to place my hemming gum this way on the wrong side of my fabric and then i'll just fold it in and make sure i fold in the edges just to give it a neat finishing and then i'll iron it down i'll iron it down so i'll do it all the way around it i'll use my hemming gum to just unfold it in and then when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys what it looks like so after i turned over the slit and ironed it out this is what it looks like on the right side and this is what the wrong side looks like so you can see how neat it came out so let's flip over to the wrong side so i went ahead to just slit this part open to let my um facing lie very well so right now we're going to fix the fabric for the ruched effect so come over to the um slits the center point of the slits and then just place your fabric this way on it so notice that this is still the eight inches that we took at the beginning for the slit and then i'll use my pins to hold it down so the fabric is about two inches wide so i'll hold it down this way and then i will stitch down on the center point all the way down to the full length and when i'm done i'll close up the sides and also stitch it down close i'll close up the sides but fold it in first so that you can have a neat finishing so when you are done you will have two holes at the lower part to pass in your um straps for the ruched effect let me go ahead so after i stitch down the fabric this is what the right side looks like so you can see that we have two channels for our drawstring and this is what the wrong side looks like and i've cut out the um fabric straps i'll be using for my drawstrings i just um closed it up and turned it to the right side and i ironed it so i'll be fixing it in using this um safety pin so i'll pass it in this way and close it up and then i'll flip my fabric to the wrong side of my skirt and just pass it in through one of the holes this way so i'll keep passing the pins with the fabric through the hole this way till i get to the upper part the upper opening and then i'll stitch it down on that waistline i'll do the same thing for the other um, fabric strap i'll pass it in on the wrong side and then when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys what it looks like so after inserting the fabric straps for the drawstrings this is what it looks like so when you wear your skirt you're just going to pull it up this way to give this um, ruched effect in front of your skirt and then after pulling up you're going to tie it in front so you can even wear this skirt with or without the ruched effect it's still going to come out very nice i showed you guys at the beginning of the video so this is what you have so the next thing to do now is to close up the sides of this um skirt so i'm going to just merge them together this way right sides facing each other and then remember we'll be having a zipper at the side so we're going to determine first we all want our zipper to stop so remember we have a band of 1.5 inches at the upper part on the waistline so i'll place my taper 1.5 inches above the line and just come down by nine inches so my zipper is going to stop on this nine inches point so from this point i just marked i'm going to take my seam allowance all the way down to the full length of the skirt which is one inch i'm going to close it up using one inch all the way down to the full length of the skirt so when i'm done doing that i'm also going to finish up i'll finish up the lower part of the skirt i'm going to fold it in twice and stitch it all the way down so when i'm done doing that i'll show you so after i closed up the sides of the skirt this is what we have and this is the zipper opening the next thing now is to insert the waistband and i have the fabric cut out already and i've ironed my gun stay on it so the wideness of the fabric i have here is two inches so i'm going to take half an inch half an inch on both sides before i fold it in so i'll be left with my 1.5 inches band so the length of the band is just my round waist measurement so right now place your band on the wrong side of your skirt this way so the right side of your band is facing the wrong side of your skirt as you can see and then i'll match it match it up this way and so this is the right side of the band facing the wrong side of the skirt and i'll use that half an inch i folded in to stitch it all the way around the waistline when i'm done stitching it i'll show you guys how to turn it to the right side so after stitching down the band this is what it looks like on the wrong side so right now i'm going to fold it to the right side now and then i'll take in the other half an inch this way fold it in and then i will stitch it all the way down 
So do this carefully. You can even use your pins to hold it down first before you stitch it so that you can have a very neat finishing. So when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So after we fixed in the band, the next thing to do is to fix in the zipper, which is the final part of this skirt. So I'm going to use this zipper. I'm still going to cut it because it's really long. So I'll fold in the edge of the zipper on one side this way. I'll open it up. So you can use your pins to hold it down to make this process very easy for you. So you can pin it down and then after you're done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all the way down. Make sure you stitch it very close to the zipper seat. And then when you are done, you flip it to the other side this way, fold in the edge, and then stitch it into the zipper allowance this way, into the seam allowance. So when I'm done doing that, I'm going to show you guys what the finished product of this skirt looks like. So guys, this is what the finished product of the skirt looks like. And you can also wear it in two different ways. You can wear it without the ruched or with the ruched effect. So guys, if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, share with your loved ones. and. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.